I know you guys are like, you're probably running late to work and you're like, hurry up, Johnny, I gotta watch this video and I wanna get the hell out of here. Guys, if you're new to this channel, I'm Johnny Nerd Out. I have a custom e-bike conversion shop, which means we take bicycles and we make them into custom e-bikes. This was not an e-bike before they brought this into us. This was just a really cool bike and we turned it into a freaking amazing e-bike now. And I wanna go into why. Uh, if you have any questions or if you want help or if you wanna recreate this, head to johnnynerdout.com. Check the links in the descriptions below. Take you right to their collar shop, book a consultations if you got questions. Without further ado, this is a, uh, a Soma frame. This is a road bike, rigid front fork, hardtail, hard front. So this is a commuter bike, super efficient. But I wanna get to what I'm super excited about really quick. This is a belt drive bike and not any belt drive. This is the roll off internally geared hub and not any roll off. This is the 14 speed. This thing's got over a 500% gear ratio to it. So first gear is crazy low. This has a crazy low gear. You're spinning out at like eight, seven miles an hour maybe. Um, and this is a 46 tooth chain ring. So it's not like a super tiny chain ring that's causing this. It's just the massive gear reduction in here. And it still has 14 gears. And the top gear is, well, you'll see in our top speed test is plenty good for top speed as well. And it's, this one's really cool too. You can see it's got a custom frame brake here. So somebody did this, they cut out a section of frame here put in this breakable section. So you just remove these two bolts and this just spreads apart just a little tiny bit. And this uses the Gates center track belt system. I do want to warn you guys, if you have a belt drive bike and you're thinking about converting it, maybe don't. If you're just like a normal guy, don't do it. Or a normal gal, don't do it. If you really know belt drives inside and out, you've done a hundred conversions, then you might want to tackle it. Uh, this one is interesting because it's got vertical dropouts, not horizontal. Horizontal would have made this build super easy. All you need is just a spider adapter for this, for the BBS-02. This is the Bafang BBS-02 UART version, by the way. And all you do is we reused the existing belt ring. I don't really call them chain rings because they're not, it's not a chain, it's a belt. Reuse this. It had a Phil Wood eccentric bottom bracket, which is how you tension it. But it was really difficult with this motor because you know, a lot of times when you add these motors on, you're already losing tons of that play. And that's what we had here. We had to grind down quite a bit of this frame. There's two, two uh, parts of the frame where you put in bolts that would hold it, like set screws, that would hold the eccentric bottom bracket in place. Once you get that tension, that would hold it there. But those were protruding so much that we couldn't even mount the motor to it. So we had to grind those down quite a bit but we were still able to use those set screws. We also had to grind those set screws down. There was just, there's a lot of custom fabricating with this. And by fabricating, I mean just cutting and grinding. That sounds like an R. Kelly CD. With a belt drive though, this thing is super smooth. I mean, it's, it's so smooth. And the belt line is, it's perfect on this. I was worried that it was gonna be wonky. I was worried we weren't even gonna make this, this fit, but I'm so glad that it came out awesome because this is such a cool bike. You could tell that the person who owns this bike loves bikes. Uh, they got the Brook saddle. This is a this is a nice saddle. You don't throw this on a junky bike. It's got the Metropolis handlebars. These are got the the, the M. It's just it's a comfortable bike. It's steel, so it's just there's a lot to this bike. We added the Bafang BBS HD. That's a 750 watt motor. This is the UART version, so it's still super easy to program with a $15 program cable. We want the P850C color display. This one's a nice, bright color display. It has a USB charging port on here. So, you know, if you want to be able to charge your phone, whatever, charge lights, boom, plug it right into the display. It's got a little toggle switch right here. We added mechanical brake cutoff. So when you squeeze this, it sends a trigger to the motor, cuts power, you can't accidentally hit the throttle and do it, which the throttle's right here. We added a triple bob battery mount because this is a 52 volt, 25 amp hour. This is like what, 1300 ki uh, kilowatt hours? No, not kilowatt hours, 1300 watt hours. <laughs> that would be a huge one. 1300 watt hours. So this is heavy, this is like a 15 pound battery. So we use the Grin triple bob uh, to really cement this thing to the frame. So you got hose clamps on here. Yes, I'm not a huge fan of the hose clamp look, but this is definitely function over fashion. This thing is not gonna go anywhere. And that is a massive battery. Try finding that in a pre-made e-bike. 1300 uh, watt hours, keep saying kilowatt. We also added a rear kickstand to it. This is the sunlight rear mount adjustable one. I like this because it fits pretty much every 
frame and it's super quick to adjust it to make it fit it. So yeah, anyways, let's go check out and do a uh, top speed test and see what we got. So you can see 35 miles an hour, definitely not bad. And this was on a, it was like half charged. So it was at like 53 volts. So I'm sure if you charge it up to 58.8, I bet you could get another couple, two, three miles per hour out of it. Just a really cool build, guys. And if you are doing a belt drive, I would recommend going with the BVSO2 because the motor housing doesn't stick out super far. So your belt line is still gonna be pretty good. And if you wanna link to the belt, chain ring adapter, check the description below. And I would I would recommend making sure you got one with horizontal dropouts just to make your life easier. Uh, unless you got a grinder um, and a lot of patience and a lot of guts and you're not afraid to mess up a frame. If you cut too deep or something, fortunately we didn't even come close to that. All right, anyways, thanks guys.